If you want to stick around, we're going to go over the Q and A. We'll answer all your burning questions, the best of my abilities, and we will go from there. If not, adios. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Let's get to it. Q and A. Ah, that's my favorite part of the day. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Beardy. <laughs> Who wants a wrench? Who wants to be a moderator? <laughs> Play king of the show. No, I, I can't do it. Uh, you know, we had this discussion about what a shill essentially is. And if you think about it, right, there's two ways to look at who's a shill, which is do people get paid and they'd have no interest in, in, in the company or whatever else and they dump on their community? That would be a shill to me. Or is a shill somebody who believes in a project, has financial interest into it, wants it to do well, and talks about it a lot? If that's the case, I'm a total shill because I talk about Bitcoin every single video, do I not? Because I own it and I want it to do well. I talk about Ethereum because I own it and I want it to do well. I talk about Cardonics, I own it, Solana, and Near and Polkadot and all those things. I own all those things and I want to do well. I am super biased, you have to understand. I don't talk about stuff I don't own. And that's it. So really, if you think about it, uh, that's, just, that's just how I see it. And some people can say there's a difference between a shill and an ambassador, but yeah, semantics, I guess. Oh, Shaolin. Hey, hello from Kyrgyzstan. Nailed it. Can't catch every live show. I'm going to do the time difference, and I'm happy to catch today's show. Well, thanks for showing, man. I appreciate it. That's awesome. Uh, my sharp ratio is... <laughs> Thank you, Ricky. I don't know. Games play. So, I don't know. We we took a look, and, and it seems like uh, these numbers are... Well, and the last one was unemployment numbers. We thought that for sure unemployment would go up and it went down. And I think, I mean, if you just take a look at it, so the unemployment numbers, they want them to, they want more people. The Fed wants more people to be unemployed. I know it sounds weird, but they want more people to be unemployed so they can drop the demand, which I don't really think is the right way to do it, but whatever. Um, so as the unemployment rate uh, goes up, that's good for us, but it actually went down, meaning more people have jobs, more people have income. And of course that would lead, lead to demand. So there's that part. And then we take a look at core inflation, that's going the wrong way too. Uh, I mean, as far as expectations. And there's another one that just came out. I forgot the, the name of it, COE. And uh, that actually went up. Uh, so inflation's, so these, these rate hikes, aren't working as much as they thought it was. The question that I have is if they guess on CPI, I can't give you a guess, but it's, if, it's, if, it's, if they're looking at, it's a, there's a difference between CPI or core CPI. If they're looking at core CPI, of course, that's energy. That's taking out energy and food and going from there. And I think that's what they were gonna look at a little bit more, more so than just basic CPI. But if those numbers come out hot. Expect, we all know 75 basis points are coming and we, Talked about that before. Uh, the big question is, will it be 75 or a full 100? That's what it is. If a full 100 comes out, it's Armageddon short term in the markets. And uh, that's it. <laughs> Always, baby. Tune every day. That's awesome. Hotsky, thank you. There's a BitBoy show and there's King of the Show. Hey, good news for BitBoy, though. I don't know if you've seen him on uh, Twitter. He's lost a ton of weight. Good for him. I tip my hat to them. It's easy to stay in shape. It's hard as hell to get in shape. Jason Johnson, what do you think of the recent news Google accepts in crypto? So the news, and I was going to cover this, but I thought it was boring. Everybody's going to talk about this today. So I don't want to steal their thunder, but Google partnered up with Coinbase, and they're going to offer payments, and uh, that's pretty much what it comes down to. So I think Google and cloud services and things like that. My question to everybody here is, is anybody here using their crypto to, for payments right now? I'm just, just sound off in the comment section. So to me, I'm like, is this a big thing? Like, are people really, I mean, it's a, it's a good way to move things in the right direction. I think it shows utility for uh, Gary Gensler. Gary, if you're here, give me a thumbs up. And I think that, I mean, if, if we can show more utility in that, in that side and say it's like more of a currency, maybe they won't figure it out as a, a security so much. So yeah. 
Uh, I just don't see it's like a big thing as far as like utility wise. I'm not using my crypto for payments. I'm just not, not here. Oh no, Jarky's here. Thank you for the super sticker. I appreciate it. And uh, Jarky, if you don't know, is, uh, is uh, real life Santa. He has been giving out memberships, expensive memberships, $1.99 memberships to Digital Asset News. Thank you. <laughs> Queen of the Bills, my ex-wife. That was a good dad joke right there. Uh, yeah, see, Gary's got a, a shill as an onlooker who gets a cut of the cash register for the hollering praise in the audience. Could be. Everybody's got their own definition. Drakey, are you from Iceland? That's a good question. Drakey's in the house. Drakey should ask you, know, he should have his own show. You should have your own show. I'm really from, I'm from planet Earth. Trump, Trump was right. JP can't put. We'll see. <laughs> That's a good one, Gary. I can't say that though. Uh, Oh, this is interesting. Thoughts on tech companies working on tokenized assets. There's an article that goes into detail. My question is this. The companies that are working on tokenized assets, um, are, they token it, are, they, are they tokenizing it in a centralized way or a decentralized way? And if they're doing it in a decentralized way, me personally, if I'm a big company, it may be not cost effective to create my own decentralized platform. I would probably just build it on somebody, on somebody else's, like an atom. That's like a layer zero. I would polka dot, Cardano, Ethereum, if you really want to, you know, get people to pay higher fees. I'm just saying. So like, uh, I'd have to take a look at it, but to me, it only makes sense. It would make sense if it's centralized and we've got, there's other centralized businesses out there and they do their thing. It's fine. It's not what we're going to go for. Except that's a single point of failure. And that's exactly what happens with the credit reporting agencies and where all your data gets, gets leaked, just so you know. Um, so they do that, uh, good luck to them. Hopefully they do it, they build it on a uh, layer one or zero. Yoga donations, all right. Car dealer, now that gave in. <laughs> Strangely, being poor makes people fatter in the West. I'm going to tell you why. It's because you have an option. You can either go uh, junk food, which is super cheap, or health food, which is super expensive. And then, of course, that's just how it is. Now, if you want to go into the meal prep type of thing, you can use, lose a lot of weight. It just depends on what you want to do. Me personally, pushing 50, I try to stay as active as I possibly can so I can have time with my grandson and not get out of breath. So I just try to, mostly the big thing is just walking, which is why I love Sweatcoin. Bam, another show. All right, uh, let's see. Great question. So Chad says, when Bitcoin hits 100K, you're gonna take any profits or hold some black cat, so BlackRock can't get later on. Look, here's the thing. I know people think that institutions are gonna come in and they're gonna buy and hold forever. They're not. The job of, of large institutions, except for MicroStrategy, they're on their own path, is to, uh, is to make profits and sell when necessary. And that's really what it comes down to. I don't think if BlackRock gets in, I could be wrong. BlackRock could get in, but like, you know what? We're, first of all, BlackRock could buy every Bitcoin out there. I think it's, there's, I mean, there's only so much in the exchanges right now. They could snap them all up like that. And it's at a pretty good price, you know? So I think what's gonna happen is, they're going to, institutions, once we get regulation, they're going to start to get in. They're going to start to buy. And what do they do? Well, they want to get profits for their customers or for their shareholders. They're going to sell at some point. Don't think that these guys, are going to, don't let them fool you. They're not going to diamond hand. The only diamond hand people that are out here are people who have been around since 2010, 11, 12. And of course, some of the, of the new people, which is fine. Hold as long as you want to. I'm not your dad. I'm not a financial advisor. Do whatever you want to do. So, the question then is, am I going to sell? Yes. When am I going to sell? I'll tell you exactly when I'm going to sell. There's this website. Man, I'm really, really in the show today. It's called danteachescrypto.com. It's 100% free. 
I made it free for everybody because not everybody can afford it, especially in different countries. Anyhow, you can click on the start learning and sign up. I'm gonna log in in the members area. There's a video under module three, investing. I talk about my golden rules, the things you see above or below usually. It's all gone, I'm just scandal and stuff. Risk, why dollar cost average, there's two videos to watch. The bull run exit strategy for 2024, 2025, I think that's when it's gonna happen. And I can't, I'm not married to that idea of that year. I'm not holding out for that year. That's not a good strategy. What I'm looking at is these, high cycle top and UPL, time and risk. These are all things you can find, well, except for time and risk. That's on Ben's website. Uh, for into the cryptoverse. Link in the description. Bam, another one. Cycle bottom collars, MVRBZ, two year MA, Puel, and reserve risk. I'm using these factors to see when I can sell Bitcoin. And then I'm using some other factors on this video of when to sell alts because Bitcoin usually runs up, then alts. People sell alts, get back down, get back into Bitcoin, the whole thing starts again. So this is me coming from 2017, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20 five plus years. Two, three, four. I'll be in eight years when this happens, I think. So that's my plan, Chad. And you can uh, adopt some of that, all of that, or none of that. Just take a look and go from there. Hey, Belize. Can you ring current buys in the ledger? I'm not sure. Let's take that out. That's a be a good video. Bring back, bring back Georgia DC. Do you know how busy George is over at Cryptos R Us? That guy does three streams a day. Plus, he has a reactions channel, and I think he still does the card channel. That guy's got no time. And he's got a young kids. I don't know how he does it. So Nami says, Protechos accepts crypto donations. Rob, thank you for your support. You're welcome. These are Protechos is a nonprofit organization in Puerto Rico, which goes out for the lower income communities and builds new roofs which is in dire need, especially right now. They've been doing that for years and years and years. So I've donated a good amount to them. When we get back in, when I get back in town, we're gonna to talk about uh, solar panels and how we can make that cost effective. So we'll go from there. But yes. Uh, I don't know what happened to the dollar menu. I was, at, I was at McDonald's a couple days ago, ordered two hamburgers, five bucks. Those are regular hamburgers. Hey, every so often, you got to have a cheat meal. And I love McDonald's. What can you do? <laughs> McDonald's and beer. If I could give those two, two things up, I might have an eight pack. Who knows? Uphold accepts Apple Pay. Great. Google and Coinbase. Yeah. Again, is anybody using crypto for payments? I'm just asking. Ah, YSK says it wisely. Institutions' purpose is to make money, not hold philosophical ideas. Most institutions. Some are there, some are, but it's very true. Uh, okay, so Dan says, uh, load Coinbase debit card to PayPal for those purchases when a debit isn't accepted. PayPal's having big problems after that, uh, that foobar they did but we'll see. Gary says, join us diamond-handed fools from the class of 2021. Look, I, felt, I, I feel the same way. Um, it's like, if you miss the, for me, if I miss the, 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 the bull market, that's pretty much it. So I'm just holding. You can offload. Remember, remember the rules. You know, there's, there's gonna be bear market rallies, guys. There is. And at that point, if you need to take profits, take profits. I mean, what's the problem? If you got to pay for bills, you're like, hey, I got to pay, I got to put food on the table, or I got to, I'd like to pay off this credit card with this, with this crazy 19.99% APR. You know, maybe you want to take some profits along the way. Do that. <laughs> Jerky says, I don't pay taxes. Rich dad, poor dad, love it. And everybody read that book. Saved your life. Sounds good. Institutions love them, hate them. Lexi says hello. Oh, Ben Ortega is here. All right. I think, I, I think I'm saying it right. Yeah, where I live, healthy food and unhealthy food are similar in price. UK is all expensive. Try going to Puerto Rico. That place is super pricey. Yeah. 
It's tough to stay in shape, man. Yeah. Rue was first, solar panels next. It's mm. a great question. It's a great question. Tell me, if you die tomorrow, you know the code to your wallet and what is your plan to give it to your family? So I've already talked to my wife and uh, she knows where all the secret codes are kept. Uh, and mostly they're just the mnemonic phrase. And most of the things that I have, it's on a ledger, ledgers, plural. We, I think we all learned a lesson about exchanges, have we not? And uh, that could be back in 2014, the Mount Gox folks. Uh, that could be moving forward into today and the Celsius and Voyager folks. And actually, you've seen multiple hacks almost in every exchange. You know, Binance was hacked at one point. So, and then other ones, Bitfinex being another big one. So I don't keep a lot. I don't trust anybody anymore. So I try to put things to my ledger. So when I talk about uh, staking, I'm not talking about staking through exchanges. I think I don't trust exchanges. I just don't. I don't even know if they're really staking it. And I don't even know if they're, I mean, they say they're staking it, but what if they're loaning it out or doing something else? And it's all in the terms and conditions, but it seems like they still lie to you anyhow. So the only one you can trust is you. So that's why like the videos I'm gonna do, it's not about staking through, through exchanges. I think that's a recipe for disaster. It's just staking, especially if you can hold your own private keys. That's the best way to do it. <laughs> yeah, I could trust is, I guess says diamond hands, I don't have a choice. Yeah, some of us don't have a choice at all. Mm. That corn syrup you get in the US is a big problem, but it's delicious. Rob, which is better, Dot or Kusama? I always, I never really was a big fan of Kusama, but that is the proving ground. So I don't own Kusama, so I can't really speak to it. Polka Dot, I do. 